Hi there, Jamie here from Poodle Press. I hope you're very well. Here's a tutorial on how you can create these really cool um, shape divider effects using just uh, WordPress and our Caxton plugin. And I'm just going to show you how to do all these. So this is the first one where we've got this beautiful slider. And you see how this has got this lovely shape at the top, which you can change very simply just using our shape divider block. Now this one, this next one shows a really lovely train, uh, page transition. So you, within your pages, you can have these love, lovely transitions. So you, you can change the shapes here and you can change the colors within here. You can have these at the start or the end of your block. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, this next one shows you how you can have a background image that then cut out and have that as a transition within your pages. Again, using um, our Caxton plugin and the shape divider block that comes with it. And that's just another example of it just to show you uh, another version of it. So this has got different shapes at the top here, but essentially the same thing. Then down here we've got, we're using the standard WordPress cover block and we'll just make it a bit more fun with uh, using the shape divider block to cut into it up here. And then finally, the fifth and final one I'm going to show you how to do is how to turn your galleries again using the, the shape divider block just to make them a bit more interesting. So rather than being quite so blocky, your pages now look much more unblocky. So that's what we're, I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, I'll go through each one and show you how to do it. Right, so let's start with the slider cutout effect that I'm calling it. So I'm going to show you how you can reproduce something that looks like this on your screen. So I'm just going to flick over to a new page and I'm going to click add new block here and I'm going to use our Caxton slider um, block which you'll just see is there. You click on that and then you just need to add your slides over here on the right. So I'm just going to add two, two quick ones. Now you could put text within these as well if you wanted to. That's my first one and then let's just add the second one. And let's choose that one there. So there we go, there's my two uh, slides. I'm just gonna change the height here just with this little dragger just to make them a bit bigger. And then all I have to do is above that, I'm gonna add my shape divider block. So I'm gonna go plus block here, go down to Caxton, or you could search for it here. You can do either way. That's what we want, the shape divider. Now let's just flip back to what we're after. This is called the waves. So I'm gonna flip back to my page. And you'll see over here on the right, we've got different options. But I want the waves one. And then the important bit here is you've got to go um, over next block. Now you won't see this because we're obviously using white here, but you can change the colors here. So if you've got background color to your page, page you can match it. And then I'm just going to publish it and then go view the page. And there we go. There's my beautiful slider block with those that lovely wave, uh, wave transition. If I wanted to change that, I could just go back to edit page. And then I could just choose uh, maybe a different effect up here. Go back to view page. And there we go, there's that, that book transition. So that's how you can create these uh, really beautiful uh, shapes within your sliders. Right, so the next um, effect that I'm going to show you how to do is this, uh, where you, this beautiful effect where you can have different uh, transitions within your pages. So as your user scrolls down the page, you can then unblock them again with these lovely um, shapes before they go into the next block. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Essentially, it's made up of three blocks. So we've got a shape divider block here, then we've got a layout block here, and then further on down, we've got another shape divider block. So let me just show you quickly how I accomplish that. So I'm going to, I'm going to start a new page here. Let me just put some, grab some text in here to start with, just so we've got some introduction. And then under here, I'm going to put my first shape divider block. So I'm going to go add new block. And again, I'm going to search for it up here. There's my shape divider. And let's just flip back to see what we've got. So this, this uh, transition here is called the book. So I'm going to go over here and select book. And you can see you can change the color here. Uh, now I could do color one or color two. You'll see that's the wrong way round. I actually want that, the second color, to be that color. So I'm going to take that back to white and then change that one. Because that's the, if you look at the shapes, that's the shape that I'm actually after. And the other thing I need to do on this is make this Full width. So now we've got a full width shape divider block waiting underneath here. Now the next thing, because I want to make this section, if I just flick back here, this sort of blackish grayish, grayish color, I have to override the, the normal page color and we can do that using our um, Caxton layout block. So this is a, a free block with Caxton that lets you do all sorts of cool stuff. But one of the most important things it lets, lets me do is put a background behind this block. So I'm just going to chuck some text in here again. Uh, but the important thing is if I click on Caxton layout here, over here on the right hand side, I can set the background. So I want the background color to be that black color. And I also want this to be full width. So if I scroll down, you'll see down here at the bottom, I can change the layout. And I want the layout to be full width as well. 
So within the, the block editor, you'll see an approximation um, of what it's going to look like. Uh, and let me just change the color settings here. Now, if you want to, within this block, you could add some more padding, which I will actually do just to make it um, kind of more closely aligned with the result we're after. So I'm just adding some padding to the top and to the bottom. Uh, you can take more time over this, obviously. And then underneath here, as we scroll down, you'll see we've got another um, layout block. So I just want to add another shape divider block here, sorry, shape divider. And again, I'm going to change the color this time. <laughs> Let's go to book. And again, we want to flip this because that's slightly the wrong way around. And in fact, I've changed the colors to make this clearer. So I want that to be the uh, clear that one. There we go. That's, that's the shape we want. And the final thing is just to make it full width. So now we've got shape divider block here, our layout block here, and our shape divider block here. And if I publish that now, we should be pretty close to what we're after. There we go. There's our beautiful transitions with our pages. So if I just flip back, that's the one I did. I just changed the text size here, essentially. So that's how you can do beautiful transitions within your pages themselves, all posts. Okay, on to effect number three. And this is going to show you how you can create these beautiful parallax background images. So as the user scroll, you've got this fixed parallax. But again, we're using the shape divider block to cut into this photograph up here like this. So it's not just a hard transition when you come to it. And you'll see there's another another um, version of it down here where we've got this. It's called the tilt. Uh, so this, this shape divider block is called the book. And I'm going to show you um, how to do that. So again, I'm going to create a new page here just so we've got a clean page to start with. And I'm going to just put some uh, let's put some text in here again, just so we've got them flip back to what we need. So essentially what we've got is just an image. And we're going to use our uh, Caxton layout block for this uh, because we can actually add a parallax image. That's the effect we're after. So I'm going to set a background image here. And let's just find the image that we chose. There we go. And I'm going to do a couple of things with this. I'm going to change the... Um, layout so i'm going to just add some padding to it and i'll be fairly quick with this just to make this bigger you get the idea what sort of thing you can do let's just bring that down a little bit um okay and i'm going to make this image parallax so you see this option here it's just a toggle to make this parallax so as the user scrolls it's going to do that cool thing and then all i have to do over this is at the top here i'm going to add a shape divider block and i'm going to add the book block and the important thing is i've got to um, Take this over the next block. Uh, actually, I forgot two things. I want to make this full width, so I'm just going to select the full width for the shape divided block, and I'm also going to make the the layout block full width as well. There we go. And now, when I publish and then go and view that, we should have an awesome looking photo. So as your user scrolls, you've got this lovely introduction transition, uh, but the fixed parallax background. So that's how you can create uh, parallax images. Uh, with that background. The other effect that I created down here with this chat is the same thing, but the only difference is I added a, um, a parallax underneath here, sorry, <laughs> a shape divider block underneath here that cut into the image. Um, but that's how you can do a parallax. It's pretty cool. Right, effect number four. This is just going to show you how you can uh, make the cover block, which is one of the core blocks that comes with the WordPress editor, just a bit more visually exciting. And again, we're going to use a shape divider block to do it. But first, I'm going to add the cover block. So I'm just going to search for cover here, find the cover block, and then I'm going to upload one of my uh, photographs from my media library. Let's choose this one here. And then the cool thing about the cover block is that you can write over it, so which is quite useful. And then you can change the width here. So I'm going to make this full width. OK, so I've just added a full width cover block, which is cool. But I'm going to make it more exciting by adding a shape divider block that's going to cut into it. So I'm going to go shape divider here. And then I'm going to make it full width. And the one I'm going to use for this is called Pyramids. And the important bit again is here, position. Make sure you select over next block because this Pyramids has got to come over this block to cut into it. And then view page. And we should have a cool looking cover block, uh, but with our cut in shape divider block cutting into it. So that's how you can create, uh, take your cover images and make them just a bit more exciting. Right, effect number five shows you how you can take the core gallery block that comes with WordPress and again add a transition to it. So it just creates this beautiful, beautifully more elegant page layout than you normally can just with the block editor. So I'm going to create a new page again, put a title, I'm going to put in some text, 
And then I'm just going to add the um, gallery block here. So I'm going to search for it. And there it is. Add the gallery block. And then it'll prompt me to upload some photographs from my media library. So let's just upload uh, these here very quickly to create a new gallery. And then I'm going to insert the gallery. There's my gallery. And then the only other thing I'm going to do on here again is add my shape divider block. There it is. And I'm going to select this time, I'm going to select uh, waves. And it's got to go over the next block, click publish, and then view page. And we should have, in fact, we do this beautiful transition for your gallery photographs. Uh, so there's five effects uh, that you can accomplish with just the block editor and our Caxton plugin. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any comments, uh, let me know.